Harper's got a brand new topper. <laughs> Success wasn't what I expected. It's better. <clears throat> Success as we know it comes in many forms. Career, marriage, parenthood, sporting events, celebrity status, or life as an entrepreneur. For most of my life, I looked to my father as a role model for success. He's happily married, he has his own house, he has enough money behind him, and he's able to do things his way. I thought that this was what success should look like. I thought that getting a job, falling in love, getting married, buying a house, having kids, getting a pet, etc., was success. But when I joined the cast of Love on the Spectrum, my view of what success looks like began to change. I took the chance to join the show Love on the Spectrum because of my desire for love. And although I haven't found a girlfriend yet, I found other things that gave me meaning. My podcast, which is called Mr. A+, an international fa social media following, new friends, to name a few. After Love on the Spectrum aired on Netflix, my father told me that I touched a lot of other people's hearts. I was not only surprised by people's reactions, but it gave me the confidence and the self-belief with fans applauding and supporting me that I could follow my dreams from childhood, which is acting and performing. I realized that giving somebody else joy gives me joy in return. My whole life, I've always admired people like Jim Carrey, Phil Hartman, RIP, and Tom Hanks. And I've always dreamed of becoming half of what they are. What I admire about them is, sure, they're not gods, but they're worth looking up to because they're really talented actors. And whenever I've done a performance on stage, I've received applause and it reminded me how great it feels. To give an audience joy and laughter is a really awarding service. Rewarding, more like. Being an entertainer counts as a service, for those who don't really know. Not a lot of people are able to give such a service. Before I was on television, I saw myself as a nobody from nowhere as I began to obtain some fame and see the messages of compliments on social media. It motivated me to start thinking about myself as a somebody and increase my self-confidence. Then I thought to myself, if all these people see me as a really great person, maybe I need to start doing the same. In January 2020, through the passage of time, I was offered an acting role by a director. And then, as the months passed, I was given all these offers to appear on podcasts, television interviews, and pay gigs of sorts. But that inspired me to pursue my passion for acting all over again but this time with ambition, more confidence, and determination. I gained a different level of success than I had ever imagined for myself. So although I didn't end up, didn't end up finding love on the show, I achieved something else. I achieved the unexpected, and I was excited to explore where that could go. It also goes to show that whether you have autism or not, you are just as capable of navigating through life as well as anybody else. Five years ago, my best friend asked me to travel halfway around the world to be with her for two weeks in Germany. I did so twice, in September 2017 and the same month in the following year, 2018. After traveling to Europe, it changed me as a person. It made me realize how exciting life really is outside the comfort of your home country. The grass is often greener on the other side. Well, to me at least. I traveled by myself without anyone. It took having confidence and a leap of faith for me and my parents. The whole adventure was exciting, but also nerve wracking. Before this trip, I was hesitant to take any risks. I never believed that I could have an adventure outside of Australia. I thought it would be too hard for me. But my best friend and my parents believed that I could, so after a great deal of encouragement, I decided I will do it. So I hopped on a plane without anybody to help me. 
I managed to follow an itinerary and navigate a city in another language. I went all on my own, and my autism didn't even stop me. From then on, I realized that I can make anything happen. No risk, no reward. After these experiences of travel and being on television, I began to change my views of success and realized that having a partner isn't the only way to be successful in life. Now my idea of success is not quite what everybody else has in mind. It's better. <laughs> I have learned over time, everyone has their own way and ideas of what success looks like, and they are ever-changing. I've also learned that sometimes you have to take a chance to leave a full-time job to pursue your opportunities of success or take a risk like traveling across the world to find out what you really want in life. And sometimes things don't go exactly according to plan, and that's okay too. I haven't given up the quest for love. I'm simply putting it aside for the time being while I focus on some other important things. My advice to you is trust your gut and follow your heart. I certainly do. And now I'm excited, even though I don't really know what the future will hold. I'm even going to try skydiving soon. Th thank you once again for letting me share my story. I wish you all the best of luck in your lives, wherever your futures will bring you. Take care of yourselves. And to conclude, I, there are some really important people in my life that I would like to give my eternal thanks to at the moment my family and friends for all the love and support they've given me over the years and for inspiring me and encouraging me to be true to myself, have faith and think positive and always do the best in everything I do. God bless you all.